see. Hello. Hello. Good evening, ma'am. How are you? Fine, ma'am. You? Hello, Abhinav. How are you? I'm Good. fine, ma'am. Thank you. Excellent. Who else have I got? I'm trying to see everybody. Hi, Arash. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. How are you? Oh, very good. Thank you. Hi. Thank Surya. you, ma'am. Surya. Hi, how are you? All good? Who else can I see? Jotsna. Hi, how are you? Where's Jotsna gone? She disappeared. How are you? Okay. Um, who else can I see? Hello, Arav. How are you? Hello, ma'am. Nice to see you. Who else have we got? Oh, Rush is up there. Have I missed anybody? Let's see. I think that's everyone. Right. All right. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to do our bit of talking. So I am going to get some boxes up somewhere. That game show is for later. Let me find out what we're going to talk about. This one. No, oh, no, is it that one? Leisure activities. So leisure activities are things you do in your spare time, aren't they? And we're going to talk about those today once it's loaded. Oh, there's Jotsna. Hi, Jotsna. Are you there? I can't see your video. Yes, maybe. You are there. Fantastic. Maybe All right. So... Make sure I've got absolutely everyone before we start this. Oh, Diane, I missed you. The list is getting longer. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Right, I think I have got everybody there now. Okay, so we are going to do open box. And first of all, who's at the top? Right, so Mriti, you're at my list today. Eh? First me. There we go. Right, Samriti so so is on my list. I'm just going from where I've got everybody because that makes it easier and I don't miss anyone then. So can you choose a number, Samriti? So Mum, number five. Number five. Okay, so this is leisure activity. So things you, um, you do in your spare time. Is there something you would like to try that you've not done before? I don't know, like a new sport or... Um, going to see something new that you've not seen before? Mom, I would like to try my new watercolours. Oh, would you? Okay, so you're a bit of a painter then, yeah? So you like you like yeah. painting, yeah? Okay, fantastic. That's a great answer. All right, we have Arash next on the list. So Arash. Yes, ma'am? She's a number. Six. Six, right. Mm -hmm. What leisure activities do you not enjoy? So something you don't enjoy. So maybe you don't like going to the cinema or you don't like... I don't like to go to cinema. Because you don't like to go. That was a good guess. Why don't you like the cinema, Arash? Because whenever I go after some time, I get a headache. Uh, it is very loud, isn't it, in the cinema? I remember when I took my little boy to the cinema for the first time. He sat there like that. He didn't like it. It was so loud. Yeah, I, I can understand that very well. All right, who else have I got? Arav, oh, you're next on my list. So, Arav, can you choose a number? Yes. I want four. Oh, I am good at. What are you good at, Arav? Are you good at running? Are you good at drawing? You are good. At Oh, no, 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 you're good at spelling. Okay. Blind. Blind. Okay, good. I bet you're Blind. good at things, aren't you? Yes. Yes. You're good at everything, aren't you, Ara? <laughs> well done. Ma'am. So, Jotsna, you're next on the list. I want to choose number three. Please. Number three, Jotsna. Jotsna. I enjoy. So thinking about the things you do in your spare time, what do you enjoy doing? I enjoyed watching Frozen movie because it was throwing water on me and I was liking it. And the seats were also moving. Okay, so that's your favourite, yeah? So movie watching. Okay, thank you, Jotsna. I was also watching TV and watching Frozen movie. 
Do you like TV as well? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you've got plenty to do in your spare time. Abhinav, choose a number. Number one. Number one. Okay, something you've never tried. Some activity that you've never tried, but maybe you'd quite like to. I have never tried a um, water slides. Water slides. Do you think you'd like water slides if you could? Yes, but yeah. I I doesn't try any one time only. You've not tried, no. Uh, yes, water slides can be a bit scary, but they're fun at the same time. It's one of those funny things. Uh, okay, I, I have trouble with your name, Surya, but I think that's how I say it, Surya. Hold on a minute, Jots, now it's someone else's turn at the minute. Surya, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Aha, choose a number then, I can't see you. I'm number two. There's only one left, isn't there? <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm not very good at. So something that you do that, that you need to practice a bit more. Anything? Mama, I'm not good at swimming. You're not good at swimming? Okay. Well, do you know one way to get better? That's just to keep practicing. So the more you do something, the better you get at it. I'll tell you something else. When I was about your age, I wasn't very good at swimming either. But now I swim uh, two and a half thousand meters every morning before breakfast. So I'm good at swimming now, but I never used to be. So see if you can be more like me. Try and do some swimming, improve your swimming. It's good for you. Okay, now who hasn't had a go? Ma'am, do you know one thing? I think somebody must have not had it. No, oh, two, four. Who's not had a go? Hi, honey, have you had a go? I don't think Diony's had a go, have you? Now we've run out of boxes, so you can choose, Diony. Just choose one of the questions and you can answer it. You need to choose one? No. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, we will move on. Ma'am? Yes. Uh, number five. Number, we don't, uh, one, two, three. That was that one. Something you would like to try then, Diane. What would you like to try? Mom, I want to try the spiciest chip in the, chips in the world. Do you now? So what, what would I have on them then? Some really spicy chili? No, mom, chips. Chips? What do you mean by chips? Spices. Spices. Spice and okay. And you'd like to try that? All right. Well, okay. The hottest chip uh, is Jolo chip. Yeah, yes. Chip. Yes, I like Jolo chips. <laughs> you should try, um, what's it called? Scotch bonnet? No, there's a chili. There's a really, really, really hot chili. I forget the name of it now, but. I had some sauce made with this chilli and it was incredibly hot. Anyway, we need to move on to the story. So this week, we are at the very end of the alphabet. So who can tell me what the last letter in the whole of the alphabet is? Ma'am Z. Yes. yes. And Z is probably even harder than X to find things to start with. It's, it's a tricky word, a tricky um, letter. But we do have a story and I will share it with you. So, somewhere there, here it comes, the story of Zed. There's a very obvious animal that starts with Zed, isn't there? It's the one that always comes up. Who can tell me what that is? Jotsna, what animal starts with Zed? Zed zebra. Yes, zebra. zebra, yes, nearly always the zebra, isn't it? It comes up every mm -hmm. time because it's a good zebra yeah. word, to be honest, zebra. Ma so. Yes, who has a question? I'm what? asking, what does mean 1118? Z 1118. Okay, actually, before we start, have you all got pen and paper because you have to write this down? 
So write your Z words down. There's some facts as well. And I want to see if you can remember them later. Write this number down, because I might ask one of you about it afterwards. So 1,118 words. So it's how many English words begin with Z? 1,118 English words begin with Z. But we're not going to do all of them today because most of them are not that interesting. But that's, it sounds like a lot, but compared with how many other words start with other letters, it's actually quite a small amount. But there we are, that's how many words. So this story, it had to be about a zebra, didn't it really? So it's Zebedee, the zebra. There he is. Zebras are a little bit like horses, but they don't behave like them. And I don't think you can ride them. But they do look a bit like stripy horses. And you can see them in the zoo or in the wild in Africa. OK, and zoo is another obvious place, another obvious thing, beginning with Z. And this is where Zebedee, the zebra, lives. Because certainly here, I don't know about in India, but certainly here in the UK, you won't find a zebra in the field down the road like the horses or the cows or the sheep. You can only see a zebra in the zoo or maybe the safari park. So that's where they live. And they're usually the ones that are allowed to wander around because they're quite tame. And they don't necessarily need to be locked up in a cage though. They won't hurt anybody. Zebedee the zebra lived in a zoo in Zimbabwe. So there's a country. It was difficult to find countries beginning with Z, but there's one, Zimbabwe. So where is Zimbabwe? Who can tell me? What continent is this? Mama Africa. Africa, that's Mama right. Africa. Africa. Huge continent, a lot of different countries, and it's got Zimbabwe down there in the south, part of South Africa. Mama. Who's talking? Soraya, what did you want to say? Zero. Zero, did you say? Yeah, that, that begins with Z. Zero is a hero. You might see that later. Anyway, Zimbabwe in Africa is where Zebedee the zebra lives in the zoo. There's some other countries nearby. And one of them is called Zambia which is another Z country, which is right next to Zimbabwe. So we can see here a little bit more the geography there of where they come from. So we've got Zambia and Zimbabwe. And actually you probably see zebras in the wild there as well, I think. Now, there were two other places with a Z in them in the world. We've got Zanzibar, starting with Z, and New Zealand. So I used that one as well because that was almost Z. So Zanzibar is there, just off the coast of Africa, so another African one. And New Zealand, of course, is down there right by Australia, so very, very far away. And there's Zanzibar there. Now, there are some foods, a lot of them from Italy, strangely, <laughs> beginning with Z. So when I was looking for food beginning with Z, that zebra, the zebedee, zebedee the zebra might like, I found Italy was a good source of things. So in Italy, we've got these, now there's the word, we call them courgettes. The other word for them is zucchini, which I think is the Italian name. OK, so zucchini, we call them courgettes, but it was quite good for Z, so I put the zucchini in. And that goes into a lot of Italian food. There's probably some zucchini in here in this pasta dish. This is called ziti. Ziti. And ziti is the name for this particular type of pasta, these tubes. Looks a little bit like macaroni, but it's called ziti. OK. And then we have some nice puddings. We have zabaglioni. Zabaglioni is like a, a sort of custardy thing. And you have a, a biscuit to dip in it. So that's zabaglioni. And you also have zucotto, which is more like a sort of cakey thing with cream in the middle. So zucchini, 
Ziti, Zabaglioni and Zucotto. All foods beginning with Z from Italy. Now, probably zebras don't really eat these things, but because it's a story, zebra D does. So there. All right. Now, more things that I found, not Italian this time, but just different things beginning with Z. So zest. So zest is the peel of a citrus fruit, like an orange or a lemon. And you get it off with this special tool here called a zester. And it's really good for flavor. You can put it into cakes and nice things like that. So there was zest, which is another Z food. Then we've got this here, zerdy. It's some kind of dessert, I believe. I'm not quite sure, zerdy. Then we've got zoni, which is a savory dish there but in a broth. I think that might have been Japanese, that one. And at the top here, we've got a German bread. And this is called Zopf, which I thought was a rather nice name. It's a plaited loaf from Germany, Zopf. Then Zopf, Zoni, Zerdi, and Zest. So there's some interesting, rather strange words going on here. Fruit. There is a fruit, and it's called... Zig, zag, fine. It's called zigzag. Zigzag, yeah. How unusual is that? It looks a bit strange. I've never seen it, but I found it on the internet, and there it is. Zigzag, fine fruit. Zigzag, wine fruit. Hmm. It means it grows on a vine, a bit like grapes do. So, a bit like it's probably a, a kind of grape. So they grow in bunches on a vine, which is what grapes do as well. So, Mom. Ma'am, I know what is this. We have some mixed up animals. So, what is a zorse? Ma'am, zebra plus horse. Yeah, so a zebra combined with a horse has produced this animal. It is zebra. And uh, this is a uh, zonkey's donkey. So a zonkey, yeah, zebra and donkey. And down here is donkey, a zebra. Uh, rain rod is the zebra. Zebra plus bull. So the zebu is actually just an ordinary animal that hasn't got any zebra in it. But both of these, zorse and zonkey, are combinations of zebra with donkey or horse because they're very similar. So they can be crossbred to come up with slightly different looking animals. There's not much difference though, is there? They just look like zebras, I think really, but the faces are different. And I guess you could perhaps ride a horse, maybe. Okay. So found a fish as well. Two fishes starting with a Z. The first one is a zebra shark. Now, it's spotty, isn't it? The zebras are stripy, so it doesn't look much like a zebra to me, but it's called a zebra shark. And this one here is called a zander. It's kind of fish, rather a large fish, perhaps, but a fish nevertheless. So we have zebra shark and zander. Okay. Now, we had a zigzag fruit, but usually when we use the word zigzag, we um, zebra color. like lines, like, yeah, zigzag lines. A zigzag is when you do a line like zigzag that. Line. Oops, sorry. Yeah, so zigzag lines, a bit like a zebra, same color, black and white. It could be any color. It's just the way the lines are done with a zigzag. Okay, now this is a rather nice place where our character, Zebra Zing, is Zebra, Zing, Zing. It's a Zen garden. So this is a Japanese idea of peaceful garden. And these gardens always have like lots of rocks and stones, they don't have grass. And then plants planted around and places where you can sit on a rock or whatever. 
and just be peaceful and very quiet. So it's a quiet, peaceful place, a Zen garden. Oh, there were some musical instruments beginning with Zed. And so Zebedee the Zebra had some music instructions using Zoom. So there's a Zed word, which is quite a new one in our vocabulary. Zoom always used to be a word to describe going fast in a rocket. The rocket would go zoom up to the moon and that was it. But now we, when we say the word zoom, we don't think of rockets, do we? We think of this, yeah. what we're doing now. I spend half of my day on Zoom now and it's, um, it's something I've not even heard of before 2020. So Zoom is now a really good way to talk to people miles away and give lessons. So Zebedee was having some zither lessons on Zoom because zither, there's a zither, it's a musical instrument that you pluck with your fingers, a bit like a guitar, I suppose, but a different shape. So zither lessons on Zoom for Zebedee, the zebra. And that's it. So, you should have quite a good list of things beginning with Z. Now I'm not going to reveal it, but I want to see who can remember how many English words start with the letter Z. 1,118 words start with Z in the English. I knew it would be you, Jotsna. Well done. You're absolutely right. There we go. That was that one. 1,118 English words. Okay. Right, so who is going to tell me what's on their list? Do you want to keep going, Jotsla? Tell me what you've got written down. Yeah. And if anyone, if she misses anything, just chip in everyone, okay? Okay. So. Everything. Tell us what you've got. Zebra, zoo, zambibi, zambibi, zambia. Yeah. Zini, Ziti, Zak, Watu, Zig. Okay. Zabag, Lion. Zabaglioni. That was this uh, this pudding here, Zabaglioni, wasn't it? Yeah. Zabaglioni, Zest. Yeah, Zest. That was the. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anything else, Jotsna? Zoni, zigzag by. Yeah. Zedu. This is Zos, Zonki. Yeah. There they are, the Zos and the Zonki. What about these ones here? was that one remember we had the um the zander and the zebra shark and who got this one here what's this anybody we've got the zigzag lines it's all gone very quiet and the zen guard yeah go on okay danny what have you got one minute, I wasn't. So I've written. So I've written zigzag lines, Zen garden, Zoom lessons, Zither, Zoom. I've written Zoom two times because it means there is not only really lessons. So yeah, what the things also. Okay, well done. All right, good. I think we've got lots of things beginning with Z. Now we have a quiz to do next. Just Yay! before. <laughs> This is about games, all right? So let's find it. Right, let's see how many of these we can do. You're gonna get some choices. You've got to work out what the game is as quick as you can as well, all right? It's the, the usual format, you know how to play. It's a different one though, it's not sports and their balls, it's games. So you're gonna get a picture and some words. What game is that? Scotch. Yeah, Maybe. is right. Oops. It was hopscotch. Well done. 
I did not know it. I just guessed it and got correct. That's okay. Doesn't matter. It looked like it was hopping, so that was a good guess, wasn't it? Ah, uh, yes. So have a look. Ready for number two? Yeah, ready. You should know this one. Mum football. Mum D. Yeah. Mum football. Some people call it football. Some people call it soccer. Good. Football soccer. All right. So, oh, you got a time bonus there because you were so quick. All right. Now, what's that one? Mum tennis. Mum tennis. 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 Tennis, it's tennis. It's tennis. It is indeed tennis. Tennis. I knew it wasn't hey. tennis. Bonus round. Bonus round. Now you've got to watch carefully here. Watch very, very carefully because I'm going to move around. <laughs> Okay, this one. One, two, three, one. Fourth one. We're going for this one. Right, you've got to see the fastest time. Oh. Okay, get ready. Super fast. What's that? Mom, table tennis. Right, if you said table tennis. Bonus. Okay. See if we can get to a thousand today. We try, can't we? Mummy. Hey, eh? we think we're going with computer games? Mommy. Yes, ma'am. Video. Computer games. You're right. Computer games. I get it. Okay. Goal is to get to a thousand before three o'clock. We'll see. Maybe, maybe not. What do you think? Mum's tea bag. Mum's tea bag. Tea bag. Yes. You was right. So. Right, keep looking really carefully. The third one? Mum, second. Mum, the third one. Mum, third one. Third one, are we sure? Mum, third one. Oh, it's not bad. 50 point bonus. That's all right. We can do that. Yes, you're right. Oh, we're not at a thousand yet, are we? No, we're not. We need to do another one. We have time for one more, so get ready. No, I just need the one thousand. What's that? Mum, 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 we, are. we might have time for another one. How are we doing? Go on, let's see if we... There's two more to go. Let's see if we can do them. All right. Question nine. Get ready. Okay. What's this one? Mum, board games. Ludo. Board games? Yeah, we're going for that. Ludo. Yeah, we've got board games. That's, that's the um, general name for it. Okay, well, look at your score. Let's do the last one, shall we? Just got time. All right. Oh, right, very quickly then. Keep your eyes peeled. Tell me which one. Mum, fifth one. Mum, fifth one. Okay. Oh, no. Uh oh. Right, we've got to get this question right. We want to get back over a thousand, don't we? So get this one right. It's the last question. Puzzle. 
We did it! Did we, we did it? did it. You did it. Phew! Excellent. Well done, you. Right. We just got there, didn't we? <laughs> oh, that's close. All right. Well done, everyone. I'll see you next week. All right? Bye.